four foster care books that I recommend you read. I did write one of them, but my first one that I want to talk about is He's Inviting Us In. This is a book by Rhonda Paulson. I did have the pleasure of interviewing her. She is amazing. Check out the interview if you haven't. I will leave it up here in a card somewhere. You'll see it pop up, but you can go ahead and check out that interview. But she is the founder of the organization Isaiah 117 House. And this book is all about how that organization got started. And it is so amazing. I love what they're doing. Basically, they have houses in 11 different states and they are transitional houses for foster kids. So say a foster kid gets pulled out of their home and instead of ending up in a hotel room or on a defects office for sleeping, they have these houses where kids can go and they can get lavishly loved upon. They can get a nice hot shower, a nice hot meal and volunteers to just love on them before they go into a foster home. So this is based on a true story, of course, that is what the book is about and how the organization got started. It all started out as her and her husband becoming foster parents. And then it just kind of grew from there. And she had this vision in her mind of this one house in Tennessee. And like, that was it. She was just like, I'm just going to have just this one house and no more. Well, little did she know that God had a bigger vision and a bigger plan for this organization. And now they are in 11 states and they are still growing. Their first house opened up in 2017. And so it is so cool to see just how much it's grown. So this book is really just about how God just kept continuing to open doors and open doors and open doors and open doors. And, open doors. and she, she was just so blown away by God's faithfulness. So it is a faith-based book. There's a lot of humor in it, a lot of heartfelt stories. And if you love a really, really good book that will be inspiring and encouraging, I would highly, highly recommend this. I'll have all of these books in the description so you can buy them. And they are affiliate links. So if you do purchase through those links, I do get a small commission. I would really appreciate it. It helps to continue to grow this channel. All right, on to the next book. Next book, The Connected Child. You may have seen this. I did do a giveaway on this book. I obviously have a lot of post-it notes in it. It is a good learning book if you are trying to learn how to be a better parent to children who have come from hard places and trauma. It does say that on the front cover, bring hope and healing to your adoptive family. But honestly, like foster parents can totally use this and learn from this. Because there's different techniques in here that can be used with children who come from trauma, just how to parent children who have come from hard places, and also just like ideas of what to do in certain situations when a child is acting a certain way. And this book was actually written by two research psychologists specializing in adoption and attachment. So a really, really great learning book. I actually read this book a few years ago in an adoption foster care group that I was a part of. And you can see like I underline circled a lot of stuff in the book. And of course I have all my post-it notes, but I am very much a reader who likes a physical book because I like to highlight things. I like to underline things so that I can go back and reread it. So for example, here's some things they talk about in the book that might be helpful for you. They talk about connecting through eye contact, matching with your child, therapeutic play, strategies that reduce chronic fear, making their day predictable, alert children to upcoming activities, then they talk about the importance of attachment. They talk about the second year of life in the child and how important that is. They also talk about a new way of thinking about discipline and then seeing this behavior as an opportunity. So there's just a lot of really, really great stuff in here if 
you are struggling with how to handle certain situations with your child and some different techniques that you can try in here. Of course, every child is different. So what may work for one child may not work for another, but if you don't try, I guess you won't know. But yeah, another great book. Highly, highly, highly recommend. All right, next we have Getting Old in Another Language. My sweet friend Yadira wrote this book and I just really loved reading it. Again, it's another book that is based on a true story about a former foster mom who has now adopted her three foster kiddos that she has. I don't want to give too much away, but she is from Puerto Rico and she has moved to the state of Georgia and her and her husband got married and very shortly after, very, very shortly after they got married, they decided to open their home to become foster parents. And then it all went from there. And it is just a really funny book. Like if you like humor, this is got so much humor in it, my kind of humor. And just a really neat story about, again, you know, just saying yes, just taking that leap of faith, just picking up and moving and being obedient and just opening your door to these kids in need and to just, you know, and, and see, see what happens. And that's why I just love it. I started to read this book one day and I got to chapter two and then I got all distracted because we had our workers come in because our house is under construction. And so I had to put it down and stop reading it. And I was really disappointed because I was into it. I was getting into it. So anyways, the next night I had a night to myself, picked the book up again and finished it all in one night. And I picked up my phone and it was literally 12.01 a.m., which is really late for me. Like, I don't stay up super late like that. But I had the night to myself and I was just really enjoying this read. And so I finished it. If you are just looking for, again, some more inspiration and if you're just wondering to yourself, like, should I be a foster parent? Like, why would I do that? You know, if you're questioning it, if you're thinking about it, I think it's really important that we hear from other people who have walked these paths of, of fostering and of being foster parents, because it could really encourage you and make you realize like, well, you know what? I could do that too. One, we can learn from them and Two, we can relate to them if we decide to become foster parents or if we're already foster parents, because it's always nice to be able to have those people in your life who you can connect with and relate to on that level if you don't have people in your life like that. So yeah, anyways, um, highly recommend. Pick it up. Grab one. You won't regret it. And finally, Fostering Connections by me, <laughs> which sounds so weird to say I dropped this book off at a local bookstore and he said oh okay so you're the author of this book and when he said author I was like uh yeah I guess so like literally this is the only book I've ever written and copyrighted and so when he said the word author it felt really weird to me because I don't feel like I'm a true author or a true writer. I've never really written like a, you know, like when you think of a, when you think of a book that somebody has written, you think of like a book like this, right? Like at least that's what mine go, my mind goes to. And I've never written a book like this. So when he said author, yeah, it was just kind of weird to me, but I was like, yeah, I mean, I guess. But anyways, this book, if you don't already know, it is made specifically for foster parents and foster children. And it is for the purpose of connecting with your foster child and also helping your foster child to navigate the foster care world. It is designed for ages 4 to 12. And in here, there's just different pages. They're really colorful and it's just fun. I I love it. I think it's so cute. I mean, maybe because I did it, but <laughs> I have gotten a good response from other people 
that have said it's a really good book. It's beautiful. It's very well done, you know, but there's just different things in here that, you know, different activities. It is kind of like a coloring book. So the kids can draw in here, write in here, all over. There's activities and stuff in here that they can do. It just kind of helps them navigate like the foster care world. Like for example, this page here says who lives in your foster home this other page says who might you see at court and there's different pictures of who they might see at court and what does a respite caregiver do so yeah just different activities and again this will be linked below and you can grab this on my website so those are the books that i recommend i will have more books that i recommend of course these are just the first few that i would recommend for all those foster parents out there or those wanting to become foster parents. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button if you've made it this far. I so appreciate your time for sticking with me. I know that your time is precious throughout the day. So thank you for joining me and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.